There are 400,000 men on this beach. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. I'm continuing with my 2018 Best Film Oscar coverage. Today, I'll be talking about the movie Dunkirk. This movie was directed by Christopher Nolan. Um, he directed the movie Interstellar, as well as the Dark Knight trilogy. Shout out to Heath Ledger on that. The movie Dunkirk cast, um, the main title characters, Harry Styles, he has a great part. Um, Cillian Murphy, he also has a great part. Tom Hardy, he plays a pilot in the movie. But the main, char main character, in my opinion, is Fionn Whitfield, this gentleman here. The story of Junkirk is about evacuating 350,000 troops from this beach. It takes place during the time that Winston Churchill is the prime minister and they are fighting against Nazi Germany. Um, the troops are all stuck on this beach in France. There are French troops, uh, Belgian troops, as well as British troops. And um, they're trying to get them off by any means necessary. They actually use civilian boats. Um, some of the citizens come, come on and try to help evacuate the troops. Um, they have big military ships coming in trying to evacuate the troops. But anything they try is pretty much shut down because the Nazi warplanes and their gunships are, are just bombarding any and every vessel that they see in the water. I think historically they say it was almost 600, 600 bombing missions by the Nazi Germany at the time. So any boat that they tried to get on was pretty much bombed immediately. I think uh, Christopher Nolan, he did a great job as getting us as realistic as we possibly could get as far as staying historically accurate to the facts, as well as giving us an up close and personal look at what it feels like when you're on a boat and you think you're getting away. And then all of a sudden you see that plane coming and or you hear that sound and you just pretty much knows what's gonna happen. Um, they also had torpedoes too, so it was just a wide variety of ways. They were they were getting murdered once they got in that water, but they all had to leave that beach because while you were sitting on that beach, you're just a sitting target, you know what I mean? You're wide open with no cover. So all in all, I give this movie a 7 out of 10. It's really for the history buffs. Um, if you're trying to compare it to anything like Saving Private Ryan, it's not. But it does have a lot of great heart. It has a lot of great acting. Um, I guess if you like really gritty films that are about like drama and things like that, I highly recommend it for you. It's not so much as like action packed back to back to back, but it's action packed with a purpose. The uh, parts where they have action and um, Tom Hardy, he plays a pilot where he's up in the he's up there trying to protect them. He's actually shooting down the uh, Nazi planes that are trying to bomb the beaches. So he you know, it's a little bit action, but it's action for a purpose. It is not just pointless action. The dialogue is great. Harry Styles, he did a great job as acting. But in my opinion, Fionn Whitfield or Whitefield, how you pronounce his name, I'm horrible with names. But he did a great job in this movie. He led it because we were basically getting a glimpse from his perspective through the whole movie. Everything he tried to do, I mean, from the beginning of the movie, he's getting shot at. He runs, he he gets to the troops and they're on the beach and he gets bombed on the beach. He finally gets to a ship and he gets on the ship, the ship get bombed. So I don't know if he's bad luck or we just seeing what it's like to have like a day in the life for one of those troops. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on the movie. I think it's worth seeing if you if you want to rent it or something like that. Go ahead, check it out. I'll spend a couple bucks. I don't know about the rewatchability as far as like getting the box set. If you do get uh, Darkest Hour and then get Dunkirk together, it's like a little combo pack. So, you know, but anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. If you do check it out, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comment section for y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch your ass out there on the universe. Peace. Where are we going? Dunkirk. I'm not going back. There's no hiding from this sun. We have a job to do. If we go there, we'll die.